there may be finally a breakthrough in the stalemate over who will be the next uh, Congress party chief. NDTV has learned that uh, all attempts uh, to sway Rahul Gandhi have uh, been fruitless and now party members may finally be ready to accept a non-Gandhi in the role. Uh, Arvind Gunasekar is following the story. He now joins us. Uh, Arvind, what did it finally take for that message to go through that Rahul Gandhi is just uh, not willing to accept that role and uh, if it has finally gone through, uh, who are the top contenders? Sarah, after a firm no from uh, Rahul Gandhi to become the uh, Congress president again, now the grand old party is heading towards the possibility of a non-Gandhi leading the party. So that's uh, the very big development that we are learning from our sources. In fact, in the last few days, the senior leaders did meet Rahul Gandhi in order to uh, uh, persuade him to become the Congress president again. And what we are being told is that Rahul Gandhi has made up his mind clear uh, in the meeting with the party senior leaders wherein he has told them clearly firmly that he will not become the Congress party president again. So that's where the senior leaders of the party are now in a huddle in order to look for the possible name to become the Congress president and that particular process is still underway. Though the Congress party's internal uh, organizational election committee has already uh, scheduled, already has come up with the schedule for the party presidential polls, uh, what we are being told is that in, the, in this particular week or the coming week, the party general, the party CWC will be called wherein the party CWC will be ratifying the uh, election schedule uh, with the possible names uh, who can become the party president. So what we are being told is that uh, some names like Ashok Gilod, the Rajasthan chief minister, is one among the names that are being discussed uh, by the uh, party insiders. So the party leaders are in a serious discussion in order to look for a possible name uh, to become the party president uh, because uh, Congress has already announced that they would be kickstarting the Bharat Jodo Yatra from September 7th. So before that, uh, Bharat Jodo Yatra the Congress party wants to but, so, uh, uh, set, set its house in Arlen, order. So Rahul Gandhi will Bharat be taking Jodo this Yatra. march. The Rahul Gandhi is still in, this, in, in the lead role for all this, right? He's supposed to be at the helm of this Bharat Jodo Yatra or will that change? Yeah, as uh, yeah, sir, that's what I was about to explain. So, Rahul Gandhi will be uh, uh, will be leading this Bharat Jodo Yatra, that's for sure, because he has also made it clear when the senior leaders met him that he would be uh, leading this Bharat Jodo Yatra along with the several other Congress leaders and Congress workers. This particular Yatra will start on September 7th from Kanyakumari, but he has firmly said no to become the Congress president. So, the party will have a non-Gandhi as Congress president. All these things will be sorted before September 7th when Rahul Gandhi kickstarts that Bharat Jodo Yatra from Kanyakumari on September 7th. And Arvind also, Sonia Gandhi ruled out returning as president because she has, she's been facing a lot of health issues. But what about uh, Priyanka Gandhi Vadra? In fact, some leaders did uh, come up with this proposal of making Priyanka Gandhi uh, as, as, as a Congress president. But uh, what we are being told is that Rahul Gandhi also made it very clear uh, that he or uh, his sister uh, Priyanka Gandhi will not uh, become the Congress party. If you, if you want to put it in uh, perspective or context, even when 2019, when Rahul Gandhi stepped down as Congress president, when he resigned as Congress president in that particular CWC meeting that went on uh, till late in the night, wherein uh, Sonia Gandhi uh, took up the charges as an interim party president, even at that particular time, Rahul Gandhi was not very keen in Sonia Gandhi taking up this interim role as party president. In fact, he wanted a non-Gandhi to be the Congress president and that's why he was not very happy with Sonia Gandhi becoming the Congress president and that's why this time Rahul Gandhi has put his foot down very clearly saying that uh, he or Priyanka Gandhi will not become the Congress party president and he has asked the party to come up to look for the possible non-Gandhi to lead the party and that's why the Congress senior leaders are in a huddle in order to come up with the names uh, so that that, that particular person can be uh, elected as the Congress president because the time frame is very uh, short because uh, September 7th the party needs to start uh, the Bharat Jodo Yatra so before that they want to sort out all these issues so in the coming days in, in this particular week we can expect the Congress top decision making body the CWC convening and then ratifying the election schedule for the next Congress president. All right thank you for that update. And now a day after being raided by the CBI over allegations of corruption in its excise policy, in its uh, liquor policy, Delhi's Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia launched a scathing attack 
on Prime Minister Modi and the centre accusing it of misusing central agencies to try and stop the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind K. Trivals, whose uh, education and health model is making international headlines. Mr. Sosodia, of course, was referring to that uh, shout out by the New York Times uh, to Delhi's uh, education model uh, in its uh, newspaper on Thursday. <laughs> Congress workers protesting outside the AAP headquarters in Delhi, a day after the CBI raided the residence of Delhi's Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia. The war of words among the Ahmadmi Party, the BJP and the Congress continued on the second day. After the CBI carried out raids for 14 hours, at 31 locations in seven states, probing the alleged irregularities in the implementation of the liquor policy last year. Accused number one, Delhi's excise minister Mani Sisodia, denied of any wrongdoing. Sources say that one crore ka ghotala hua hai ya CBI ki FIR keh rahi hai. Isme na 144 crore ka zikr hai, na 11,000 crore ka zikr hai, 1100 crore ka. ना 8000 करोड़ का मनोज तिवारी जी वाला जिक्र है मैं कह रहा हूं कि ये सब बकवास है ये सब बकवास कर रहे हैं इस पूरी पॉलिसी में कोई घोटाला नहीं हुआ इनकी परेशानी है अरविंद केजरीवाल इनकी परेशानी है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल जिस तरह से अब पूरे देश में एक काम करने वाले ईमानदार नेता के रूप में पहचान बनाते जा रहे हैं और पूरे देश के लोग अब उनको पसंद करने लगे हैं इनकी परेशानी ये है और पंजाब के बाद तो पूरे देश में अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को एक राष्ट्रीय विकल्प के रूप में देखा जाने लगा है इनकी परेशानी ये है ये जो पूरी कार्रवाई मेरे खिलाफ हो रही है यह जो पूरी कार्रवाई मेरे दफ्तर में हो रही है मेरे घर में रेड डाली जा रही है ये हो ही इसलिए रही है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को रोकना चाहते हैं both Sisodia and Union Minister Anurag Thakur speculated about an arrest soon. Inko pata hai ki koi bhrashtachar nahi ho, isi liye ul jalul bakhe jate hain inko. Mene bhrashtachar nahi kiya. Mene sirf itna kiya hai ki Arvind Kejriwal ji ka education minister hume. Isi liye yeh kar rahe hain. Isi liye yeh saajish rachi ja rahi hai. Inho ne pehle Arvind Kejriwal ji ke health minister ko griftar kiya. Phir kal mere hain red dal di. Ab do chaar din mein mujko bhi griftar kar lenge. जेल में है सतेंद्र जैन अरविंद केजरीवाल जी के लेफ्ट हैंड और अरविंद केजरीवाल जी के राइट हैंड मनीष सिसोदिया जी आरोपी नंबर वन शराब घोटाले में है वो कहां होंगे किस हालत में होंगे ये मैं नहीं कह सकता ये समय ही बताएगा द बीजेपी हैज अलेजेड द दिल्ली चीफ मिनिस्टर अरविंद केजरीवाल इज द किंग पेन ऑफ करप्शन द एक्यूज नंबर वन ऑफ द लीकर Corruption is Mr. Manish Sisodia, but the kingpin of corruption, corruption is Arvind Kejriwal. Akhir kar agar apki sharab niti thik thi, to vapis kyo li? Meanwhile, the Congress, which protested against the probe against its own leaders by the Enforcement Directorate in the National Herald case barely a month back, welcomed the probe by the CBI. Saying the two cases are not the same. You became what I always knew he was, perhaps India's one of the India's most dishonest uh, persons, and perhaps one of the most dangerous to Indian politics. What is happening in the National Herald cases, and what we are saying, is that you already found out everything. So the raids uh, are something that is not required. All data is available, all records have been available, all the evidence has been given, and we never protested against these people being called by ED. We only protested in the manner in which you are overdoing and you are making a display. You cannot complain when the agencies are doing their, their, their due diligence. And it is you who withdraw the niti. You took back this uh, excise. Why did you take back the excise policy which was so good? Amid the political turmoil in Delhi, AAP changed its election campaign strategy with AAP chief Arvind Kejriwal, including Mr. Sisodia in his upcoming election tour of Gujarat. The CBI, after completing searches at multiple locations on Friday, started investigation today in the Delhi excise policy case. According to sources, five accused were summoned and questioned in the Delhi excise policy case today, but not Mr. Sisodia. 
The offences listed by the Central Bureau of Investigation in its FIR are corruption, criminal conspiracy and falsification of the accounts. And while the agency has started with this investigation now, the political tussle between the Aam Aadmi Party and the BJP over the issue is all set to escalate ahead of the upcoming state assembly elections in Gujarat and Himachal Pradesh. With camera person Sanjay Kaushik and Mohammad Mursaleen, I'm Akshay Dongre for NDTV. All right, and news now coming in. A former BJP MLA from Alwar in Rajasthan has been caught on camera boasting uh, about lynching uh, at least five people, including Pelu Khan. Let's uh, Khan. Let's uh, listen in. Listen in to this chilling testimony. Modi ji, up till five, we have killed. 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 ये इस एरिया में पहली बार हुआ है कि उन्होंने मारा है मतलब अब तक तो हमारे लोगों ने मैंने खुलम खुला छूट दे रखी है कार्यकर्ताओं को मारो मुझे वो किसी की वो तब से दिखा रहा है खुलम खुला छूट दे रखी है वो बड़ी भी करवाएंगे जमानत भी करवा दी आंदोलन चलाने वाले चलाते हैं आंदोलन का रूपरे का तैयार करनी पड़ती है Harsha Kumari Singh now joins us. Harsha, this is blatant. This is uh, chilling. It can't be refuted. It's all on tape. Is anything being done about this? Uh, yes, Sarah, absolutely and completely shocking, actually, uh, what, um, you know, we heard that MLA saying. Now, uh, just to give you a little bit of a context of this entire uh, case, well, uh, you know, there was a lynching which had happened uh, a week back where a Hindu vegetable seller was apparently attacked and beaten up on suspicion of being a, a thief. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, there was a, a certain amount of little bit of tension in that area. Now, when Gyandev Ahuja went uh, to meet party workers, they were, uh, the conversation, the context of the conversation is that they were apparently talking that they want to launch an agitation uh, against that lynching which has happened in his area. And then you hear Gyande Vahuja saying that, um, you know, we have killed five people uh, and this is the first time that they have killed uh, somebody here. We have killed five people and we have, they have got away with it and we've said that, you know, uh, when these cases come, we will get you bail. Now, of course, extremely incriminating, in extremely inflammatory. Uh, immediately, uh, the, the Congress chief has tweeted uh, this video, which is now going viral. And after that, we've seen that the government has, uh, the police has in fact registered a case of 153A against Gyande Vahuja, uh, which pertains to spreading communal disharmony. So that case has been registered and we're going to look out and see what further action is taken against him. Uh, but politically, it's definitely going to uh, widen the fault lines further, especially in a communally sensitive area like Alwar. And whether that case uh, will be followed up. Thanks so much for that, uh, Harsha. Meanwhile, uh, the body of a 22-year-old young man was found floating in a canal in Kurukshetra in Haryana. This young man apparently was uh, depressed over delays in an application that he had put in for a student visa to go to Canada to study uh, and work. His visa reportedly came in on Thursday, the first day when he went missing. His family believes. He was probably dead by then. ये परसों सुबह लड़का घर से निकला था और इसकी बाइक और चप्पल जो कुल्डी पुल है उसे लगभग 500 मीटर आगे मिली थी और परिवार वालों को और हमें भी डाउट था भाई ये नदी में ना कूद गया हो कल से परसों से इसकी प्रयास जारी थे अभी इसकी डेड बॉडी मिली है परिवार वालों ने सुनाखत कर लिया और हम अभी इसके तुरंत कागजात वगैरह तैयार करके कार्रवाई परसों ही हमने कर दी थी अब इसका पोस्टमार्टम करवा के बोलो अपना परिवार के हवाले कर देंगे संस्कार के लिए